I grew up in Otara. Uh, I've got three sisters. Yeah, um, back when back in the days, uh, they always used to pick on me and beat me up, and always make me cry when I was small. But now they can't do it anymore. <laughs> I got into kickboxing um, in 2008. Caught up to a job to do a bit of um, jump fixing work from a guy named Mike Mulligan. I just asked one of his, um, Jason's mate, oh, what do you do? He goes, oh, yeah, I, I'm a fighter. I, uh, I fight out of ETK, Jason Sonny. He said, oh, man, I want to be a fighter one day. He said, oh, well, you should come and join us one time and see how you feel. So uh, the next day, I went, I went to trial out the training, and it was pretty hardcore. Uh, about three months down the track, um, I had my first fight, and it lasted about probably 40, 40 seconds in the first round. Oh, having, my, having my sons walk me up, man, it's like a uh, big joy in my heart, you know? Like, yeah, I'm walking with my dad, I'm so proud. Oh, my tattoos have got um, Brooklyn on this league and Andreas on this league. Oh, these are my kids, they are 10 and 9. Um, uh, they always push me and because when I fight, uh, when I fight, they always tell dad, dad, um, now I just want to be like you. I want to, you know, be a champion just like you. And then they always go around school telling my dad's the champ, my dad's the champ. <laughs> I'm sure kids get sick of them saying that day. <laughs> Tavo! Very much a South Auckland slugger. Oh, that's an overhead right from hell. Missing party is champion. Winning the first King of Ring 2012 was, a, um, was really big for me, like, you know, uh, because I was the smallest and shortest one there, and all the guys were bigger than me. Like, as far as like going into like, oh, look at these big giants. I wonder if I'm going to knock them out. I know you heard my name in these streets. My combination put most of these people straight to sleep. Oh, when my family comes watch, um, oh my mum, man, she never likes coming to my my fights. My mum, my mum hates me fighting. You know, she's always worried about me, and like she'll she'll never come and um she'll never come and watch. But since um my grandma my grandma had passed away on the 2014, and then it's my first time my mum ever came to watch to watch my fight. And she was so happy that, that I won. I took it out. You know, she came and jumped in the ring and waving her hands in the air and praying to God, say thank you God and stuff. But yeah, it was pretty awesome to have my parents and my whole family and everyone there supporting my friends and family. When you're in that ring, you die in, a, you die in that ring. You never stop, you never back down to no one. So that's what I do. I, I just, no, no matter if I got a stuffed up leg, you know, I, I still keep on going until the end. I, I'll never give up, you know.